Now welcome back. This tutorial continues our talk character. This time we're gonna put some bones into it. So in other words, we're gonna rig it. And as before, this these tutorials are for mainly for my students in IADT, but everybody is welcome to enjoy them. Now we have our duck character. A couple of things we want to do before we start. Uh, I'm gonna delete the history. So we go we go edit, delete by type, history. That will get rid of all the um, deformations we did before to this character, the, to this model. And that's always good to do before moving on to the next stage. And I'm gonna move this, sorry. so the grid again. I want it to be in in terms of left and right in the middle. Now I'm gonna tap the spacebar to get to the side view like this. And you know five gives me the shaded mode, four gives me the transparent mode, which is good for now because we, we want to put bones in it. And under scale, uh, we need to have animation set menu menu set. Under skeleton, there's joint tool. I'm gonna put the first joint somewhere in the torso. Always when you rig almost any kind of characters, the first joint, everything goes towards torso, uh, towards pelvis really. So this is the second joint here. Um, hip, knee ankle and feet and press enter to finalize the the bone chain and we can reposition them slightly when you when you're making a leg or a, or a, an arm always leave the leave the joints slightly bent already as you see it's bent backwards because the the bird leg. I want. I wanted to bend backwards. If this was a human character, I would make it slightly bent like this. Okay, so that's good. Now we go to the front view, and we see that it's in the very middle. So we're going to move the hip like this. And check the. Check the perspective view. That looks looks okay. We go back to the side view, and we're gonna make the neck now. So back to the skeleton joint tool. Joint there. It's up to you how many how many joints you want to have in the neck. Just one for the and finish it with finished with but by pressing enter we're gonna do the tail so again skeleton joint tool and a couple of bones there press enter now these joints are not connected to the to the root but we can we can parent them by selecting this this bone, the root, press P, and it's parented, in other words, connected. The same thing with the leg, uh, with the neck, root, press P, and it's connected. And and the, the bones should always go flow this way. That if you if you select the if you select the root, everything else follows. So if it doesn't, you've probably built it the wrong way around. You've started from the from the beak and so on. Now, um, a really good idea now at this stage would be to to name these bones and be, be be quite detailed about it. So this would be called hip left, knee left, and so on. But uh, we we're not going to do it for this exercise. We're just going to go directly into mirroring this joint to this leg. 
I'm gonna select the, the first joint that should be symmetric here. Go to skeleton, mirror joint, but I'm gonna open the option menu and a couple of options here. Uh, later on you can you can easily if you have named your joints appropriately you can easily replace left by right and right by left here but I'm gonna try applying the mirror and it, it did it exactly where I want it to be if it didn't the chances are um, it's if you're working on a different axis so you, you go to the YZ instead or we need to connect the model to the bones next so we select the bone select the, the skin and go to skin bind skin smooth bind and we open the, the open box and we, we we make sure that we have joint hierarchy which means the whole skeleton closest in hierarchy here and max influence is two that means only two bones can affect the place of one vertex in the model and we click bind skin and now when we move the skeleton the, the skin should move with it and if we select bones and move them the, the skin should move with it this worked pretty well now the the eyes are not following following the head because we didn't we didn't we haven't connected them anyway so I'm gonna parent them directly into the bone I'm gonna select the two eyes select the nearest joint and press P so now when we rotate or do whatever the eyes will follow so that was to, to show you two different ways to connect connect stuff to the bones the, the eyes were directly parented because we don't want them to warp in any way but we do want to warp this this skin slightly so that was that was bound to the to the skins to the bones that's our bones exercise and we're gonna add ik chain to it in the next one thanks for watching